simplysimplestamping.com. Thank you so much for stopping by for a two minute Tuesday tip. Guys, today's video is kind of a takeoff of last week's video. Last week I shared with you how to make a quickie bow by just taking two loops of your ribbon and just tying them together just like you're tying your shoes. It was a simple little trick. It makes great bows. You can make them any size you want. But after I created that video, I got to thinking, I wonder if I can make a double bow. And guess what? It worked. So today I'm gonna to share with you how to create a double bow using that same technique. So to create the double bow, you're just going to fold your ribbon over, all right? I've got, oh, I'm gonna say probably a good 10 inches of ribbon right here. And just like we did before, we're going to create our two loops and then we're just simply going to tie them over. So let's run that through. Again, like I said before, it's just like tying your shoe, but we're just gonna give these a little tug and I can tighten it, I can adjust it until I get the right size loops for my bow that I want. I can now come in and trim that. This bottom loop, we're gonna just cut that off of there. And now I can pull these loops to kind of separate them to give that double bow look. This tip also works well for baker's twine. Now for this one here, I actually used four layers of baker's twine and tied it together. Another great way you can use Stampin' Up! ribbon in a unique way. Now listen, I gotta tell you, Stampin' Up!'s ribbon is by far the best I've ever used because it's so soft to work with. If you head over to simplysimplestamping.com, I'm going to have um, all the ribbon there that are my personal favorites for tying bows and I hope you'll check it out. Guys, thanks so much for being a part of Two Minute Tuesday Tip. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.